Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to it Trap Reviewers. In this video, I have a ton of more iPhone X leaks and rumors for you guys. I can't believe it. Tomorrow's the event and we still have rumors to get through. So the first one I wanna show you guys uh, is that the iPhone X and iPhone 8 Plus will feature three gigs of RAM while the iPhone 8 will still have two gigs. Uh, this is not really surprising. Actually, it's a little surprising that the X doesn't have like, you know, four gigs or something to differentiate it more from the eight series lineup, but nonetheless, uh, this is something that we're just hearing now, and it does kind of make sense, uh, I guess, when you really think about it. The iPhone X will need a little bit more for it since, you know, it's just going to have better internals uh, and at least a bigger screen, so it can definitely use that extra RAM. So that is just one quick story I wanted to go over. The next one is that the 4K Apple TV could feature an A10X Fusion chip and 3 gigs of RAM. Uh, now, I don't really give too many shits about the Apple TV at all. Uh, but uh, in case you guys do, this is some information on that. I'm gonna skip over that. And then another mini story is just that uh, Xiaomi takes aim at Apple with new MacBook Pro and iPhone X rivals. Uh, in case you guys didn't know, the Xiaomi Mix phone, uh, they've got the Mi Mix 2 now, uh, and it's kind of more accessible than the uh, original Mi Mix. Uh, but realistically, the whole problem uh, with companies like Xiaomi and Huawei and all those other Chinese companies is that um, it's hard to trust the products because they're manufactured. I know the Apple products are manufactured in China too, but these are manufactured by the Chinese. And there have been some reports that they thought that like Huawei uh, laptops and stuff and phones had malware pre-installed and tracking stuff so that when they shipped it over to the US, you know, they could gain Intel and whatever they want uh, of your data. So uh, that's why I'm skeptical of any of these. I would never buy one, uh, but they do look nice. This, this Mi Mix 2 does look like a nice phone. Uh, it's obviously not gonna be anywhere close to the iPhone X. Uh, and then this uh, notebook pro basically to look like a macbook pro and yeah but again i wouldn't trust any of it but that's just my opinion next up ming chi ko says that the iphone x production is currently just less than 10,000 units per day and the blush gold color may launch later which is absolutely crazy so this is literally a severe short supply um that is exactly right i mean if they're really only producing less than 10,000 units per day that is really low uh, which means that if you guys don't uh, get your pre-orders in immediately, like I've been saying for the past, I don't know, month now, that you're not going to get this phone when you want it. So he also anticipates it's a so-called blush gold colored iPhone X will encounter some production problems initially, uh, be only available in extremely low volume. And he said that there's a chance that the gold version will go on sale at a later date than the other colors, um, which are rumored to be silver and black. So uh, if these are really the colors, I'm definitely getting the black. If they have just a gold, not this blush gold, I would probably look at that because it's going to have the black front, uh, but black looks like the way to go for this one. Uh, but again, just less than 10,000 units per day. That is absolutely crazy. That's really low. So uh, yeah, we'll have to see about that one. All right. Our next story is that Apple just received its approval letter last week to host its first ever event at Steve Jobs Theater. Uh, you can see it right here. I guess this is public domain information so you guys can see it. Um, and yeah, that's just crazy to think that it just got approved. Like they sent out the invites way before that. Um, so I guess they were pretty confident that they'd get uh, approval, but still kind of cutting it close there. Uh, this isn't really a story, but guys that work on Siri say that they deliver a personalized experience without treating you as a product, basically taking a shot at Google and everyone else that mines data off of you. Siri doesn't really do that. Uh, that is definitely a good thing. And the last story here is that the new Apple TV, uh, the 4K Apple TV could feature revamped Siri remote with haptic feedback, kind of like how you get uh, with an iPhone and stuff when you click. Uh, and 3D touch. That is definitely interesting. This Apple TV, uh, this 4K Apple TV rather, uh, is looking to be actually pretty good. It might be the first Apple TV I ever buy. Kind of mess around with it and see what it's like, uh, but it's really seeming like it's shaping up to be uh, a pretty nice device. So we'll have to see about that tomorrow. Now here's just a PSA. If you guys are for some reason going to trade in your iPhone 7, 7 Plus uh, or anything like that, these are the going rates uh, for about how much they're worth. I personally keep all my devices. I never sell them. I just buy the next one out of pocket. But if you don't do that or can't do that for whatever reason, uh, then here are some of the prices that you guys can look to get if you want to sell it off right before the new one launches to get your maximum you know, money for it. Uh, here is that. Oh, and one other thing, uh, the iOS 11 GM code hints at iPod touch refresh, uh, which I actually found really cool. Again, the few of you that actually keep bugging me, asking me, you know, where's the iPod touch news? Well, it's right here. Um, it looks like 
uh, there will be a refresh for this iPod Touch because it says new iPod 8,1 found in iOS 11 GM. This is again from Venya Geskin. Uh, in GM, it says unlock you iPod with your face in one of the strings. Even if a new iPod was in the works, it might not feature face ID because the code string could just be there for future proofing. Not really sure how that would work like for future proofing. I think it would just be there, you know, like right when they sell it, but I don't really know what that means. Uh, but in my opinion, this means that uh, I think we will see a brand new iPod Touch uh, refresh at this event, or maybe just in the future, maybe that's what they meant, meant by that. But I think we'll see one tomorrow. I think that would be really cool um, to see a new iPod Touch uh, unveiled. And being able to unlock it with your face means it would have probably similar sensors to the iPhone X. So kind of a cool thing. Now, one last thing that I haven't seen any other uh, tech YouTuber report on is that this iOS 11 GM build that we've been reporting on for the past two days uh, that got leaked, uh, it appears to have been leaked by a rogue Apple employee. So it was just probably just one guy and he probably had no idea the extent of what he was leaking, you know, because this is completely, it's given us so much insight into what's coming at this event that uh, de Apple definitely did not want this to happen. As you can see right here, um, suggesting that someone somewhere inside Apple leaked the URLs that allowed iOS 11 to leak in final form. And while the leaker may not have known what extent his or her actions altered the impact of announcements made during the event, we have to believe they knew what they were doing and this would make waves. So um, definitely something interesting to note there. I mean, I don't think most people thought that this would be called the iPhone X. I think most people thought it would be called, you know, the iPhone 8 or iPhone edition, as we had reported previously. Most people did not think that this would be called the iPhone X, but uh, that is what it's going to be called. And we know that thanks to this uh, iOS 11 GM build, which is going to be released <laughs> tomorrow officially. So uh, that will be uh, something interesting to see. So that's all the leaks that I've got for today. If any more come out tonight, I will do my best to make a video and get it out, you know, tonight if I can. Uh, and, you know, of course, tomorrow, all the coverage uh, will be happening here. So you guys can follow us on Twitter at iTouchAppReview. You can subscribe to us here. Hit the little bell icon here. Maybe don't do that on Twitter just because we tweet a lot. <laughs> you might not want to get notified every time we tweet. But on here on YouTube, you definitely want to have that bell icon on so you guys get notified every time we drop a new video. So you're the first to know about all of the new Apple news leaks and rumors. So that's all I got for this video, guys. Again, hit with a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.